This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Philippines, good evening. Nay magrabi, masantos siya sa labi siya. Amin maya pa bengi kay kongan, marahin na banggi sa inugabos, maupay ng gabi, ha iyo ng atanan, marajaw na doyum sa ijurot, maing maing gabi sa tibok Luzon, bisayas Mindanao, apil sa Saba, bismillah rahmanir rahim, as walang malay kung brak matuloy tarang barakatu. Ako po si Eric Espina, ito po ang inyong nag-iisang republika at nag-iisang bandila. We're going to talk about what's on the fashion plate uh, in the political currency and in the contour of the Philippine Republic, which is the talk, uh, the proposals, the movement for a revolutionary government. And an end to that, we will also be um, sidelighting uh, the issue on the possibility of the next operation objective of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Duterte administration, which is the Communist Party of the Philippines and the NPA tagged as a terrorist organization. So tonight, we are going to be talking to the son, I would call him the son, but actually he is the founder of the... Kaya na mamaya magsasabi mamaya para mas malinaw. Walang iba po kundi si Bishop Nilo Tayag. Maraming salamat sa pag-imbita mo sa akin dito sa Republika, ang nag-iisang Republika. Anak ng Revolusyon, Bishop Nilo Tayang. Kaya nga sabi ko. Anak ng Revolusyon. Kabataang makabayan. Kabataang makabayan. Oo, yes. What has happened to... It's gone, no? KM doesn't exist anymore. It does. It still is. It's still called Kabataang Makabayan. It was declared illegal by... In my case. When I was sentenced yes. for subversion. Yes. That was in 1981. 18, okay. 18, 18, 18. But, but is it 17. illegal now to put up the Kabataan It is an underground and illegal organization now. It has been declared illegal in my case. But by, whom? by whom? By whom? By the courts. By the courts when I was sentenced as, uh, for subversion. Your association and not the founder? Yes, 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 yes. Pero ako na, 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 na ano na ako na... Exonerate ka na, wala na problema. I was uh, released on the, oh. on the basis of a pardon. Yes. And a, an amnesty by oh, President Marcos. Oh, it's a political offense. Oh, it's a political okay, offense. Okay, now question. The NPA, the CPP are not declared, what, subversive organizations? Yeah, they're declared subversive organization. Oh, but somebody, you know, somebody can declare, I'm with the Communist Party of the Philippines, I'm NPA, but nobody can arrest you. Because there is, wala namang RA 1700 na ngayon eh, anti-subversion law. Wala na. Oh. It was abolished. Precisely. So if somebody came along, called Nilo Tayang Jr., kung may junior kayo, just in case, sorry, or pinsan, and decides to put up the Kabataan Makabayan, pwede. Pwede, pwede. Pwede, so it's hindi na illegal, it's no longer an illegal organization. But they don't try. They don't try. Why? Kasi uh, ayaw ng Communist Party na, na hindi mananatiling pure ang kanilang uh, pakikipaglaban. Okay. That's why the President said, I am a socialist. Yes. 
but I'm not a communist. Yes, that's what I wrote about him also, and he, I, I'm and glad that... And the distinction is that... It's very clear. If you're a communist, oh. you're a member of the Communist Party, Yes. and the requirement of the Communist Party is that you are for armed struggle, yes. and the armed overthrow of the government, oh. in order to establish a communist government. A communist government which, in simple terms, Bishop, is a totalitarian state. Well, <laughs> well, you might say that. Oh, you, tama, might say, you might say that. Oh, kasi oh, okay. iba yung authoritarian <laughs> government, which was Marcos, before, before, oh, oh, oh. as against a totalitarian, oh, totalitarian state. state. It is a totali oh, it is, oh, oh. Would you agree it would be a worse government than Marcos if it was a totalitarian, it's a totalitarian, based on history, huh? mm, I'm just mm, talking mm, about mm, uh, the models of Marxist, Leninist, the Maoists, mm, uh, Cambodia for one, mm, where they had, uh, well, Cambodia, they had two million mm -hmm. who died. In, uh, during Mao's time, it was about 50 million in China. During the Great Leap Forward, the industrialization. In fairness to oh. uh, President Marcos and, to, oh, yes. and for accuracy in the yeah, history. Yeah, nagsasalita na si Bishop. I was uh, the detainee commander. So I was incarcerated for almost 11 years. 11 years. Okay. During all those years, there were many instances where there are 200 to 250 political pr prisoners uh -huh. in one detention camp. Uh -huh. So when I was in Fort Bonifacio, okay. I was the detainee commander of some 200 to 250 political detainees okay. of varying persuasions. The, no, actually, national democracy back then. NDF. And that, not, not them. We call them not, not them. Not so them, huh? No, not social democrats. They were they were sock them. Oh, it may not them. <laughs> I know. Not them. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Oh, oh. Meron got them and. Oh, oh, okay, okay, see, okay, see. Anyway, we don't feel them now oh, oh, oh. because of uh, Filipino or feel Filipinism ideology. Which is you now? No, oh, feel okay. them. Yes, feel them. Feel oh, them. Oh, oh. I feel them. Tama, tama. Oh. oh, so not them. So they were all not them. In fact, we were mixed with the. Uh, PKP HMB people. The original. Uh, led by uh, Dr. Jesus Lava, okay. Castro Alejandrino, uh -huh. and many other uh, hook commanders like Linda Die. Was, was in, the, in, the, in the Fort Bonifacio uh, uh, Rehabilitation Center. Was Cablas part of the PKP before? The rumors. <laughs> <laughs> the rumors, okay, rumors, okay. <laughs> but they are, they are called, uh, well, of course, they are. They're already beyond the grave. Of course, oh. Cablas Ople, Adrian Cristobal, yes. uh, Andres Cristobal Cruz, okay. yung mga magagaling na writers yes. ni President Marcos. Yes, yes. Well, yun, yun term natin dun eh, fellow travelers. Fellow travelers, okay. <laughs> fellow travelers. Fellow travelers. Okay. So, uh. They are not uh, under the discipline of the Communist Party. Yes. But they sympathize with many of the programs and policies. Okay. The Communist Party. Okay. I would say they are socialist in okay. orientation. Okay. To my speechwriters, the President Marcos. Would it be fair to say that if you're a communist, you're a socialist? Yes, necessarily. Yes, but it also follows. It can also follow that you're a socialist, but you're not a communist. Yes. yes. Okay. But you're in distinction. The, the the converse does not hold. Okay. Uh, the okay. converse does not hold. Okay. Uh, the if you're a socialist, uh, if you're a communist. You're not necessarily a socialist. A socialist. Uh, but if you're a socialist, okay. you're not necessarily, necessarily a communist. Because okay. the Second International mm. uh, was, the, uh, was the time when Lenin said that the revisionists are not allowed to be in the Bolsheviks. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, the Russian Democratic Socialist Party was not directly mm -hmm. the Communist Party. Mm -hmm. I uh, distinguish that from the Mensheviks, I from the from the revisionists. Yes. Are and you considered the, a revisionist by the standards of the current uh, communists, the CPP? I don't know how they call me now. Or are you a reactionary? <laughs> Which one are you? Are you a revisionist or are you a reactionary? I will never admit that I am a reactionary, you know? Oh, but I never, I never heard them, uh, <laughs> they, I never <laughs> heard them tell me that I am uh, speak of me as a, as a revisionist or, or, or as a reactionary. Because uh, uh, reactionary, you can go back to the So, which one are you? 
or you are now a Filipinist? Oh, yeah, I'm a Filipinist, but uh, uh, sometimes uh, they call us uh, center. Okay. For instance, uh, revolution from the center. Yes. Uh, meaning uh, democracy from the center. Revolu democratic revolution, revolution from, from the, the center. center. Yes. Inang tawag ni President Marcos. Marcos, correct. Dun sa kanyang, oh. no. Uh, because we are not against a sitting president. Okay. It is the same is true with the revolutionary government now. That is being pushed uh -huh. now by President Duterte. Uh -huh. it's, it need not be violent. Okay. Uh -huh. It is not uh, actually being pushed by just uh, President Duterte. But? But by a large number of people. I think, uh -huh. I think uh, I'm going around the provinces. I really want to this revolutionary government. Okay. Uh -huh. So, kailangan talaga na na magkaroon ng overwhelming clamor. Kailan may kumilos? Uh, 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 overwhelming clamor ang mga tao na sa ganun, they can by themselves declare uh -huh. a revolutionary government. Okay. Which gives the president no choice but mm -hmm. to declare a revolutionary government. Uh -huh. But theoretically, katulad nga ng nag-iisang republika na sinasabi mo, uh -huh. even the core constitution contains uh, Article 2, Section 1. Yes. The Philippines is a republican democratic state. Yes. Sovereignty resides in the, the people, people and, and all, all government, government authority, authority emanates, emanates from, from them. them. Yes. So that is a revolutionary government is an exercise of direct democracy. Correct. By the people. Correct, correct. When during the course of their uh, experience under a regime, they feel they feel that uh, it is no longer feasible, it's no longer necessary na ibigay nila ang kanilang uh, boto sa mga representatives. Mm -hmm. Representatives. Okay. 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 <laughs> so the first act of a revolutionary government would be the removal of Congress and the removal of the... Of Supreme Court? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Of the, of, the, of, of the Congress and the Senate. Yung Supreme Court, hindi uh, gagalawin? Uh, <laughs> sa, sa tingin ninyo, sa tingin ninyo. Uh, hindi gagalawin. Uh, hindi, nag, hindi gagalawin yun. Uh Oo. -oh. Sa gesture namin, hindi gagalawin. Uh -oh. Pero, iisa-isahin yung mga miyembro kung sino yung mga korapat involved sa mga droga. Okay. At uh, may kapangyarihan ng presidente na alisin uh, mula sa Supreme Court hanggang sa municipal courts. May kapangyarihan ng presidente. Okay. But, in order... Bakit yung Supreme Court hindi gagalawin sa plano ninyo? Hindi. Uh, open yun. Open. Even Pwede yung, galawin. Even yes. the members of the Supreme Court are open. No, but you are not going to abolish the Supreme Court. You will not padlock like the, the Senate and the Congress. Ah, hindi po hindi. Ha? Hindi yung, po hindi. yung Supreme Court, hindi. Uh, lahat, lahat. Hindi naman papadlock lahat. Kailangan mag-operate ang mga courts. Ha, yeah, but how about the, how will you undertake the process of, let's say, closing the Senate, closing the Congress, sa pagbabalik po ng Republika? Kasi, um, uh, it will lead to, uh, it will lead to anarchy pag walang courts. Okay, so you're just Republika. talking about legislature. Mm -hmm. The legislation, the power to legislate uh -oh. is given solely to the president by abolishing Congress and, uh, and the Senate. Uh -oh. uh, we, we are going to pause for a few reminders.